Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. We are playing with the Peekaboo Hello and this stamp is Trevor, Trevor and Friends. There's quite a few in this range of little critters sort of, I'm going to say looking out over like a bench or a table or something. There's like Pip the Pig, Pip the Pig. Um, there's, there's quite a few. There's a lot actually. I'm stamping him down with the premium dye ink which is um, a Copic friendly ink. I just had a little gooby on his nose so we're going to stamp that out. I'll remove that and then stamp him again just to make sure. I've got my card base here. I'm just trying to figure out where to place my hello. I'm going to trim him off at the base of the words. Now you are going to have to just sort of cut around the O and take some little bits and pieces off the straight characters. But it comes off really pretty simple and pretty clean. So we're just going to try and trim those off. I'm just using a bone folder here just to smooth out around the edges. We just needed to trim up a little tiny little bit more. I've kept the bottom half. I'm going to use that later on to sort of hide the acetate that I'm putting on right now. So I've just used a tiny thread of glue and we'll just trim down that extra piece later on to just hide that, to just hide the acetates. On to the colouring now. I promise. Here we go. The bunnies are all going to be coloured in the same tone. The little teacup, so we've got C5, C3 and C1. I am going to soften that down a little bit with an O marker just to, as I said, soften it down. So I'm just with white, you may have heard people talk about it before, but we're just putting in the shadows. It's going to look a little bit grey at this point, but by the time we get to having everything else coloured, you're going to see that it comes up white with just a little bit of depth because we've added those shadows in. The... So yeah, so I had C5, C3 and C1 and the O markers. Next, we're just going to use Runaway 27 just to colour in my heart and I'm just leaving him straightforward. Now, we've I've discussed why I call R27 Runaway 27, but I thought I would quickly go over it again. So I went to a friend's place and one we went decided to go out for dinner and I was going to be there for a couple for a couple of hours we were going to be crafting we we're going to be having fun some idiot I could say this because it's me some silly duffer did not seal up their tub of I have a I have a bag which quite a few people have these days but it's no longer available um, and it has little pouches that you can put stuff in and it's a solid sturdy little bag some silly Billy didn't zip it up let's go back to the card for a minute so I've got E44 43 42 W1 and E41 on all my bunnies I'm giving a little bit of stippling just to give it a little bit of sense of fluffiness fuzz i am mostly doing the stippling 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 if i could talk that'd be handy on the e44 and or 43 probably a little bit of the 42 but i can't quite remember and blending that out with the W1 and the E41. Now all my bunnies are coloured the same, so you're going to we're going to you're not going to see the last bunny being coloured in. Put it that way. In centre of his ears, I'm using R20, and I'm going to go over that with the E41 just to blend that in, so it's not a stark contrast. So again, as I said. A little bit of texture on our bunnies and they're going to come up cute so I we went out for dinner 
back to my R27, my Runaway 27. We went back to dinner and for some reason, I can't remember why, but for some reason I opened up the back of my car. And it, oh, that's right, because I heard a crash. I heard a crash and I just went, that's not good. That's not good. And everything was everywhere. So what happened was, there was quite a few that fell out of the car. But Runaway 27, he decided to go for a run underneath my car. And copy markers are not that cheap. So I was a little bit, I had to, I honestly, I had to stop. I hadn't started eating, but I had to leave the restaurant, get a friend of mine to grab the R27 after I reversed back after I made sure that it was not under one of my wheels so hence it's called Runaway 27 because you tried to get away the okay so let's go that's the story it's not fascinating but that's the story why it's called Runaway 27 my bay here we've got E57 55 53 going down to E50 the T we're going to say T is just straight out E53 the cookie is just pretty much the E57 I wasn't really going to introduce any more extra colors and it was going to be a chocolate cookie with a cup of tea with my bear I don't know why I, I did O's markers on that to remove the color because I'm going to color it really all nice and dark with my bear, he is going to be a little bit of a long-haired bear. He's not a scruffy long hair, but he's a long-haired bear. So you can see with his arms especially that I am just doing a flicking. And some of it's quite random with my strokes. And for a while there, he's just going to look like a hot mess keep going and he will blend in and soften all the lines and he will look pretty cute especially like there he does not look great but we're going to keep going until we are until I'm happy with it basically that's my hope for you guys if you do something and you go why did you do that why just keep going in the name in the words of Dory the fish just keep swimming just keep going and it will all go well in the end so we've got E57 on his claws my ground or my table my bench my tablecloth I don't know what but on my grounding, I'm going to do just some nice blues because I thought that would be rather a little bit different. So I am using, I'll eventually put all the colors back in. Here we go. There we go. So I've got B26, B34 and B32. Now there's a little, even though it's like 26 down to 34, it's quite strong contrast between the that dark color so it does need a little bit of extra work but it does blend in quite nicely and so we got this nice deep little table let's just call it a cable because it can't be ground because even though the bunnies would be sitting on the ground it can't be the ground because the bear is up there I'm covering the back of this with another piece of just thin cardstock it's not super thick because I don't like seeing the Copic markers on the back now I've got my ruler here and I'm just going to cut up to the animals up to our little bunnies without cutting anything off so I've cut sort of trimmed off where his toes are but no bunnies were hurt in the operation I needed to it wasn't quite straight so I needed to just add a little bit extra for my ground and it wasn't quite straight so we just trimmed that off 
I'm going to fussy cut around these images but I'm not going to let you see it because that's just going to be too boring. So this is our last little bit. So the acetate is sort of not really full length of the back of our card. It goes up behind above a hello but it's going to go right down to the bottom. I've placed this along the edge and what I'm going to do with that extra piece that we trimmed off just hide the glue from the acetate and I'm going to do that the same with the top. The top is a little tiny bit shorter just so when the card closes it doesn't cause too much of a grief with the fold. I've got some Pepper Rose watercolour neutrals. I really ummed and out about the colours and what to put behind my bear but in the end I went for this dark grey and lighter colour and I thought that just really set off the blue. There was a really nice I call it a sagey colour. There was a really nice sage, which was an option, but in the end, yeah, I liked the dark that little bit more. We're just going to clean up a little bit of excess glue that I had ooze out because sometimes I get carried away. I've placed a little bit of glue just underneath a couple of my letters, just try and make sure they stick down a little bit. And I've glued some of the bunny's ears to that and the teddy's ears. And that's my card. I hope you are well. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye.